All right, so uh, came across an issue where uh, our HP 5520, uh, it's an HP Photo Smart printer. Uh, it's a printer, scanner, copier. Um, we had an issue where the ink ran out and my wife went to the store to go get some ink. And I think that during the time that she was gone, it allowed the black ink to, uh, to dry up that was in the, uh, the ink cartridge holder. So do some research online and it turns out that thousands of people out there have the same printer with the same issue. Um, it's always the black ink. Something in the black ink dries up quick and then clogs. Uh, so I found one web posting that showed uh, uh, how to take care of this uh, without having to go through warranty work or if your uh, printer is out of warranty, as is ours. Um, so one of the indications was if the printer is on and you go to take the ink cartridges out, or if you open up this, you can come down here, this panel here, the ink cartridges will come over so that you can replace them. At that point, unplug, I'm open that up. At that point, unplug the printer because if you power it down at that point, the ink cartridges come over to the side and they basically lock themselves in and you can't move them out of the way. Uh, I don't know if they do that for shipping purposes or whatever. Uh, but they're locked in there. So you get to power the machine up, bring the cartridges to where you're gonna, and once you open this up, they come over automatically, pull your ink cartridges out, unplug it. That keeps the uh, cartridge holder uh, where you need it. Then uh, there, uh, there's a sticker here. Uh, looks very similar to this one. And it says HP Photo Smart 5520. Underneath it, is a hidden screw. See that? One more time. There we go. <laughs> Underneath it, there's a hidden screw. It's going to take a Torx bit, find the hidden screw, take the screw out. And then there's a couple of screws here and here, one on the side here, and then there's two underneath this control panel. There's a tab in the back of the control panel. Actually, there's two tabs. There are two tabs in the back of the control panel, which uh, they're pretty strong, uh, so it's going to take some force to move them over, but once you do, this comes out, this control head. Be very careful, there's a ribbon cable behind it. You can very gently kind of wiggle it up and down, and the control head separates from the ribbon cable. You have to be very careful with that. Without this, your machine is nothing. Okay, that gives you access to crud that hasn't been seen for years. It gives you access to two screws. They're silver. And they're right in here, Torx bit, again. Um, let me see if I can find a size on this. T10. T10 is the size with the Torx bit. Uh, takes all the screws out. Okay, so now we have the control head out. Um, there's a hinge here. And as you can see, it's open in the back. So you're basically gonna wanna pull this arm forward, and that's gonna release this whole top section. Okay, that allows this to tilt back. Now you can get the screw that's here, another one here, and then these two over here. Once that is off, the whole top can come right off. Another ribbon cable connecting the top to be careful with. All right, now for where the printer cartridges go, uh, there are two springs here and here. These springs need to come off. They're on a good amount of tension, not impossible, but they're under a good amount of tension, so don't let go of them. And then this whole unit comes up like such. And then there are three ribbon cables on the back. Mine are still separated, uh, but these three ribbon cables uh, they basically stay in order, so you really don't have to kind of remember where they go, but here, here, and here. This big ribbon is what tells the ink cartridges where they are in relation to the paper. This ribbon fits right in between this top piece and these two bottom pieces. It goes through like a, like a piece of tape, and that's what tells the printer 
uh, where it's printing. So when you go to put that back in, probably best uh, to kind of feed that in first and then the whole unit will drop back down. Uh, of course, you got to put your ribbon cables back in. Anyways, underneath, when I found this, uh, I believe that's the color side, this is the, uh, the black side. This was all caked up, all with black ink, all back here, all underneath it. Um, the posting said to sit this in water, but not to get the board wet, and then not to get these wet. So I really didn't do that. So what I did was I took a wet paper towel, and I kind of put some moisture in here, cleaned it out little by little, um, until I actually saw ink flowing through it. Uh, at one point I had tapped it down a couple of times and black ink was coming out. So I think I dislodged uh, the ink that was trapped from where the cartridge goes on down to the print head uh, because ink was flowing through it. <clears throat> so I'm about to put it all back together. Maybe you can get a shot of the puddle of ink which I've left. You can kind of see it down there. I mean, that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good puddle of black ink. I got to clean that out still, but uh, uh, I'll put that at the end of the video of everything, uh, fingers crossed, working, and uh, um, hopefully it'll be, uh, it'll all be worth it. I believe it will be, uh, considering what I found and what's been cleaned up. It's a great printer. Uh, you can, e you can actually email this printer and have it print stuff out from anywhere in the world. Uh, so if you had a document that you wanted to send to your house and have printed out uh, for later review or whatever, you could set up an email account with the printer and actually send it, uh, send a PDF to the printer and it will print uh, from the email. Uh, scanner, copier, uh, I don't think it faxes, but you might be able to scan something and send it as a document. I haven't gotten that far into it, but uh, great printer, outstanding copier. Um, we print money with it all the time, so works great. Uh, just kidding, but it's it's really that good of a printer. It's uh, great detail to it. Uh, wireless, uh, so we are printing from our iPhones, uh, um, Windows machines. Uh, we're printing from every uh, Android, every platform that I think is out there. We're able to print from it uh, wirelessly. Uh, so a great little printer. Anyways, let me put it all back together and see what we get. Thanks. Okay, I wanted to give a quick update on our HP 5520 uh, PhotoSmart printer. Um, in the video, I was mentioning everything I did um, according to what this web posting had said uh, by taking the, the print head out, soaking it in water, uh, rubbing it down with, with wet paper towels. Um, the printer there uh, fought me the whole way. Um, I soaked it. I did everything. I did it uh, in increments. Like I, I didn't want to soak the print head in water. It just seemed like sticking a piece of a, you know sensitive electronics in water just wasn't a good idea. Uh, but every time uh, I would put the thing back together and pray that it would spit out something with black ink, uh, it laughed and uh, it, I would take it apart again and bring it up to the next level. I would uh, uh, soak it in hot water, right? bathed it in alcohol. I'd used isopropyl alcohol, rubbed it down, Q-tips, you name it. Um, I had the thing completely submerged in water. I'm looking pretty hideous today. I apologize. <clears throat> However, uh, none of it worked. Uh, so d during my uh, trial and error, um, one of the ideas on one of the forums was um, to see if the ink cartridge uh, there's, a, there's a vent on top of the ink cartridge that people wanted to see. Maybe the sticker was pressed too hard into the vent on top of the ink cartridge. So I said, well, let's find out. So I blew air into it, and it sprayed black ink all over my rugs, uh, which I later got out. That'll be a different video. Um, anyway, so I knew that the ink cartridge was not plugged. There was plenty of black ink in it, and it was free-flowing all over the rugs. So... Fast forward, I did all the cleaning, which was failing, and uh, just drive me nuts. Uh, I, I couldn't believe this printer was, was doing this. Um, and I knew it worked. I knew it worked. So I knew it had something to do with the ink. I just wasn't getting a piece of clogged ink out of something. But I knew it wasn't in the cartridge, because I just sprayed it. 
So now it leads me to believe that it's in the head, the, the print head, which I've been soaking in alcohol and everything else. So I combined two stupid thoughts at once. Um, one, that the print head was clogged, and two, uh, to blow air into the top of the, uh, the, the ink cartridge. <clears throat> My thought was, if I can blow air into the ink cartridge and get it to spray ink out, maybe I can blow air into the ink cartridge and get it to spray ink out and force the clog out of the print head. It sounds stupid, uh, but it worked. Uh, I soaked it overnight. I did everything. I really, I scrubbed the thing down. Um, I honestly probably put about seven hours worth of trial and error into this stupid printer. And I was right on the border of, I mean, I, I literally punched it several times. I punched the, uh, the, the print head. I was at my wits end and, uh, uh, I'm surprised the thing works, uh, but it actually prints beautifully. Um, one of the things I did want to show in the video, and, and I, I, I believe this is where our issue came from. In the video, I said, when you, when you turn the printer on and you open up the bottom panel and the ink cartridges come over so that you can take out the empty ink cartridges and replace them, um, I said, at that point, unplug the printer. Because if you don't, they go into a locked, hidden area. And here's why I think they go into that locked, hidden area. There's an ink pad down below that locked, hidden area. And it is my belief that that ink pad keeps the print head moist. That's my guess. Um, I, I'm guessing that it's there for a reason. So I, I wiped, you know, I did find a puddle of black ink all over that thing uh, when I was cleaning this up. And I cleaned that whole area up and... Um, all that good stuff. But here's my point. If you're gonna take the ink cartridges out and take them to the store, make sure you get the right ones, make sure you close the panel back up so that the ink cartridge head goes back over to its parked location and sits on that ink pad so that the ink doesn't dry up. That's only my assumption, but it kind of makes sense because the one time we didn't do that, we ran into an issue. And seven hours later, we got our printer back. Uh, but a lot of people, I would imagine, have thrown their printers away that work perfectly fine, but they made that one fatal mistake. So maybe take a picture of it with your phone. Everybody's got a phone. Take a picture of it with your phone. Leave the ink cartridges at home. But if you are going to take the ink cartridges with you, make sure you close the panel and watch the print head go back over to its parked location and, uh, and keep that print head moist. Uh, other than that... Printer's working fine. It prints out great. That's the position I was talking about. Take the end cartridges out, close the panel. All right, and now they're gonna go back over to their parked location. To verify, look at that, they're not there. And now they're gonna come back over. Come on, don't be shy. There they are, okay? When it comes back over to this area, that's where it goes to keep the print head moist, okay? So if you're gonna take the cartridges with you, shut the door so that it goes back over there so you don't run into what I ran into. Other than that, despite the beatings it received, it works fantastic. But I'll tell you, I'll never get another inkjet printer again. I will spend the extra money and get a, a, a laser printer uh, because I hate, I hate, hate is a strong word, I hate inkjet printers. While, it's, while they work, fantastic. Other than that, it's time for me to take the dog in. It's raining. Goodbye.